Sleep on the couch. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? It's the Scorpion with Kenya. Hello, how y'all doing? What type doing? of name is that? It's Kenya, if you ask it's me. It's Kenya. Kenya. Don't uh, listen to him. Anyway, we are going to do... Um, Question and answer session. Thank you, Q&A. On I was thinking. the couch. This is so much more comfortable with sitting in a chair. Like, I know. I was laying I down on Block TV earlier. It's, so. it's a real talk show. It, like it's, it's decent. All know. you need is a microphone. I know, oh, if we ever get a show, it got to look like a house, a house setting. Yes, yes exactly. So. That was my idea. No, actually, it wasn't. So, no, but as a <laughs> lot of people told me that. <laughs> um, what I had to Kevin's say. Chris. I forgot what I was about to say. Um, um, yes, so we're going to answer your questions, but first, since Mikkel is not here, um, I want to tell y'all, just because I have a Mikkel moment, I want to talk about Beyonce. I had a dream about Beyonce, and this dream was so decent, like, I really loved it. I can't curse no more on YouTube, but, um... That's going to be a hard one for him. Um, so, I'm, me and Mikkel, um, go to the movie theater to go see Beyonce. I, like, her concert was playing in the movie theater, so we went to go see it, and we was, like, in the front row. All of a sudden... Beyonce comes out of nowhere to like sit in the audience and watch the movie and the whole movie theater going crazy and you know Mikel going crazy sitting next to uh Beyonce and you know me I'm running like Beyonce! I try to go talk to Beyonce and she looked at me all crazy and stuff and then I was like oh what did I say I was like and she was saying, like, you always be talking about me on your show. <laughs> stuff, stuff, stuff. I was like, Beyonce, do I ever make you cry? And then she was like, no, you don't make me cry. And all this and that. And I just started busting out laughing. And then she's like, well, Mikkel, you one of my special fans. So, Mikkel, you can sit with me. Don't be trying to be mad because you ain't me trying to All right, that's what I want to talk about. But I'm no, I know. I want to finish the dream. Why you got to be like that? Hey, so, good. I'm having a Macau moment. I say it in the name of Macau. Damn. It, so, that makes it all good. So, anyway. Macau starts sitting with Beyonce, and they was having their little things. And I started getting jealous. So, I'm like, fuck this, that, that, that. And I'm like, um, Beyonce, uh, you know. I do talk about you on my show, so you could at least, like, speak to me or whatever. And then she says something, and I'm like, what, Beyonce? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. And she, like, bust out laughing and stuff. And that was that was a really good dream. That's how the dream ended and stuff. We had fun. So shout out to Miss Beyonce. If we ever meet you, I hope you are fun because you don't come off that way all the time. Now, let's get into these questions. Hey, no, wait a minute. So, no, notice there's a time limit there, right there. I'm going to put those on all the videos so we, so we know how long the damn show is going and when we need to cut this show. You know what I mean? So, the first question comes from Keep True 56. He asked or she asked, Scorpion, who are the selection to, to be singing at the inauguration? And we both said, who the hell do we, we don't I know. I want to know who his connect is because I need to be connected. Well, I don't have no connection. Well, who do you think maybe at the I don't version? know. Maybe Alicia I Keys. I think John Legend is going to be there. Alicia Keys is going to be there. Beyonce wants to be there. She um, does? Yeah, she done made a song. I'm proud to be an American. All right, all right. Uh, I have my Macau right, moment. Moving on to Woo! the next question. So, um, yeah, um, wait, Rihanna and... um. Um, she he said and them like everybody know who and them is. Rihanna supposed to be there. Um, they even said Leona Lewis, but I doubt that. But you know, but hey. I really think that Jennifer you Hudson. I think when at the inauguration, I would love to be there, especially with my throat. I'm definitely bringing in the Man. president with a bang. Yeah, they don't want you there, girl. Please, you know what? Anyway, moving on. Old school soul ass. Yo, how you doing, Kevin? Good, I hope. Well, wondered if you could discuss the state of music on your next show. I mean, to me, it seems like music has really changed a lot in a bad way. I agree. Mm -hmm. Um, all the soul quality and uniqueness of the artist has really vanished or hit or hidden for some reason. I think the labels are on some shit. <gasps> keep going. Just keep going. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> when they choose these new artists, but. What do you think about the state of music in today's decade compared to the years past? 
music. Go ahead, because I'm about to blow I know, up. She about, that's all I'm about to hurry up. Like, I'm going to take my 30 seconds right now. <laughs> music is dumbed down. Music has dumbed down a whole lot. You know, you can sing a song like, I'm about to take off my shirt. Taking off my shirt. I'm about yeah. to take off my shirt. Yeah. You like my nipples. And you love my nipples. That's under my shirt. And that's what you see when I take off my shirt. Like, that would be, if I went down south, that would be the number one song. Right there. Okay? They are forgetting about real singers. Okay? Like, come on, Kenya. Help me out. Because, you know, they forgetting about the real singers out there. Ain't no more real singers no more. Nope. It's just, it's getting late. I'm making my way over to my favorite place. And womanizer, womanizer, oh, you're a womanizer, 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 oh, you're a womanizer. Okay, this is how I feel, <laughs> brother man. Sister and everybody listening. We all heard, you know, previous shows where I talked about how music has lost its essence. When something loses its roots, it has lost all purpose. Like... Music is love to me. And, you know, music is so important that throughout the whole Bible, that's all you see. All you hear is somebody singing or somebody's supposed to be singing. I'm not trying to go all religious on you, but it's just that's how important music is. And when you take the, 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 the meaning of music out and you, you water it down and all that shit, like, isn't it? Like, you're disrespecting the craft. I love music. Like, I love music. Music. I and she am got a music. song called Me, I Love Music. I sure do. And it's going to be out real soon. And it's, it's serious. Like, if you have a passion and somebody tell you, oh, you know what? This is I know you got a passion. Ringing. See, that's how much I love music. I play that on my keyboard as my ringtone. I love music. Like, that's all I got to say about that. Man, go ahead and take the mic. All right, so <laughs> old school soul. Kenya is going to have to do a video yes, she talks about that. Yes, okay. I will. I will. Now, the next question comes from Ducky. Ooh, that's a nice name. Ducky 101. Did you, did you ever think of doing little comedy skits? Yes, we have thought of doing comedy skits. I'm just waiting for Mikkel to be ready to do them. I don't know why he's waiting for Mikkel because I'm just as funny, if not more, than he is. Oh, okay. That's my opinion. But, um... I think it would be a good idea. Mm -hmm. Crazy 1018. We're going to have to skip that question about um, Leona Lewis. Mm -hmm. talk about Kenya, we both ate hoagies, okay? Our breath going to smell like hoagies. You ain't got to let the public know my breath is balling right now. Well, they can't smell it through the day. Because on TV, smell. don't everything look good? Uh, I guess. Sure it does. Everything that look good ain't good for you. Oh, I ain't talking about Here you. We go. I'm just saying. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. That's a subliminal, Ooh. see? That's what they do in the music. Kenya. They put a subliminal message in there so people don't realize that they calling you stupid without saying you're stupid. Hey. It's true. Listen, you got to listen. Lovely to Narelle Scorpion. I would like to know, what do you think that, who do you think the next R&B, <sighs> who do you think is the next big R&B artist and who do you think will over, will take over 2009 in the music game and also, who do you think is under it? Ooh. Go ahead, tell the truth, brother. The Go ahead. next. The Go next, ahead. Your role. The next big R&B star, Miss Jasmine Sullivan. Oh, no. Oh no! Oh, no. What you want to chew? Oh hell Girl, no! You want it to Excuse be you? Me. The next big star of 2009. She came out 2008, and that was great. But 2009, my time to shine. You must have lost your Who mind. You? Yes. Girl, please. Excuse me. Excuse me. I have, I have not only like I said before, but studying this crap, I have come to the realization that there's no, there's no such thing as You want a record label? I'm coming out. Don't, don't, don't listen to what he just said. Okay? Listen. Uh, listen. Okay. I would love, listen. I would love to say that my sister. It's going to be. be. It's going to be. I don't uh, care. When it happens. I will fix on Jay Z step Kenya, every morning. We got day. a show. We got, we got like 50 questions. All right. I'm just saying. Don't be just, don't okay. be going, so, oh, yeah, you, ooh, you So, Miss Jasmine ooh. Sullivan is the next big R&B artist of 2009. And until she gets on the record label, then we can say her. But until then, you know, FYI, you, you don't have to be under a label to get a Grammy from the Grammys. All okay, you have to do is well, have a published work and put well, it out Whoa, well, whoa, well, damn it. I don't hear your songs on the radio. It's <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, who do you think will take over 2009 in the music game? Probably Justin Timberlake or Rihanna. One of them is going to have a big year in 09. 
Or uh, maybe maybe Christina Aguilera. Who knows? Because 2008 really didn't belong to nobody. It sure didn't. It did, and music I mean, was Lil, horrible. I don't know. Uh, I can't even comment because even Lil Wayne didn't take it the way. Like, he had listeners by the balls. Like, he had them by the balls. And he just, I don't know. He just, he just, you know what? When you let ego get in the way, that's when you start messing up. All right, Kenya. So, who do you think is underrated? It's people like Shanice. Shanice, people like Kelly Rowland, people like Michelle Williams. I think Michelle Williams people. is definitely underrated. I think she has a possibility to be a great, great musical icon, but she doesn't get the publicity and, and the promotion, just as a lot of artists. I think... Who else do you think is underrated? I think that's John Legend is still yes, underrated. I think he is John very Legend underrated. underrated. He is Music is underrated. And the uh, I read new CD comes out February tenth. And you haven't seen any advertising. It's underrated. That I've seen some, but not like big. You exactly. Know what I mean? She, I have, I have recently been listening to all her CDs. Jill she Scott is bad. You had to listen to Good Morning, like her songs. And you know oh, what? You, girl, that's um, help me through a break. Good morning. That People whole, don't um, realize you don't just listen to music just to shake your behind. Like music is. It's your therapy sometimes, and when you listen to something and you're going through it, and they relate, and you could just you could just sit there and like listen to how they got through it. Like that's a lot. That means a lot. They sharing their life with you. Like these are people you should feel honored to have in your midst. Like just to have a CD should feel like you know them. Anyway, I'm getting too deep. Yeah. yeah. All right, Dips TV. I'm sorry. I um I, I forgot what email you sent me yesterday, but I got a lot of mail yesterday, and I I have to check it tomorrow or afterwards. Cookie 100. What are some of your favorite European, Canadian, or international artists? Um, of course, Avril Lavigne. Nickelback. Nickelback was American, ain't they? What, what are European to me? Oh, well, to you. U2 is European. Who? You're, U2. I don't listen to them, though. Coldplay, I don't listen to them. But they're good. They make good music. Uh, I, I recently started listening to Adele. I've been listening to Estelle. You ever heard of Adele? I like Estelle, though. You ever heard of Adele? No. You need to listen to Adele. You would like her. Um, Leona Lewis, of course. Uh, there's a new artist that somebody introduced me to. Her name was Boa. Um, I haven't really listened to her, her whole music collection, but I really like her. And, yeah, you got any European artists? Next question. Uh, Ad 4581. What is the most important things in your life? Family. Family. Love. Um, family, <laughs> family, and being loved. That's the most important things to me in life. Cause you need both of them. I believe so. The most important things to me in life is, uh, like he said, family. No, first, first of all, I take that back. God is very important to me in this life. And True. My family and love. Which is, I mean, love and God yeah. is the same thing. Mm. But um. Yeah, well, actually, wait a minute before we say that, because there's some people in love and don't even talk about God, so we can't put them together. But you, un you but I understand where you're coming from. Yeah. But there's some people. That's a different kind of love. Yeah. That might not be love. Uh, that might just be infatuation right. maxed off by lust. Uh, that's another L or word an for obsession. you. Obsession. Uh, yeah, obsession. That's a good one. I've, I've, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is from Little Wasserman. Who? Do you think Disney has gone overrated? Disney has lost their mind. What? First of all, first of all, when I was younger, when we were younger, there were real like to stories, me. and they were just they were it wasn't it's they, they it seemed like they just selling um. But they ain't selling sex. But I mean, Idol Tree to the children. But I mean, we we had the same thing with Idol Tree. We had Mickey Mouse Club. We had Kids Incorporated. But they really sell it Idol Tree. Like when you sell Idol Tree, okay. Most people don't even know what that means. Like when you sell Idol Tree, you're selling. Okay, say Kevin's an icon. I'm going to sell you things that I say that he uses and it makes him so glorious. And when you buy them, you're going to feel like he does. Like that's that's a part of Idol Tree. And I think when you sell kids like. Things like that. So you're trying to say Hannah Montana is taking over Abe Kid's life? I didn't say that she's taking over their lives. But she is. But it's I want to be just like her, not like. It's not admiration. It's a, it's, it's deeper than admiration. Mm -hmm. I don't even want to get into it. I, that's how I feel. I think that to me, Disney is the same way we had. We fell over, we fell out over the same people. It wasn't as big as it was now. But I mean, Disney. Where's the fantasy Disney, age? 
This nigga has always had the fantasies. You where's had, the fantasy? You had Beauty now. and the Beast. I'm talking about now. Where's the fantasy uh, now? They got a lot of movies that have fantasy. What? I don't got time to sit there and try to name them. Because Pixar is making most of them. It's not Disney. Well, Disney's name is on it. And they're making um, real life movies now, too. They got Disney name on it. So, to me, like the only big person we got is Raven Simone and Hannah Montana and the new Selena Gomez or Selma Gomez. One of them there. Don't bother me! Go upstairs! Go upstairs! Now, <clears throat> see, this is what I'm talking about. They don't have, they don't know how to use their imagination anymore. So they're they're getting involved in grown things, and they shouldn't. Now, this is from eBags18. What up, Kevin or Scorpion? Do you think it's right to cheat on a person if him or her cheated first? No, because why would you cheat if you already accepted the fact that that person cheated on you? Now, it's not the, you're not trying to play tit for tat. You're supposed to say, okay, we're going to try to make this work. You made a mistake. Now let's try to get over it. Not let me stab you in the back because you already did it before me. No, I don't think it's right. I agree with that. Um, I agree. If you if you if you're still holding that resentment, you're still angry, and you can't forgive the person about you need to end the relationship. Blah, blah, blah. You need to end the relationship because it's not gonna. You're gonna keep doing it back and forth. Somebody's gonna either get pregnant or bring a disease to the relationship. Okay. So you might as well cut it off. Why is why is you know there? So what's the next question? Black eye. Hey, what do you think about homosex ho homosexuals, homophobia, and hip hop? <laughs> and rappers say homosexuals. Why are they? Come on, a lot of those rappers that you see out there, they are getting in on the low. Okay. Um. I believe if you if you if you're secure in your manhood or your or your woman is a gay man should never you should never be threatened by a gay man. Exactly. That's like saying I don't like black people and. You know, I hate them or whatever, but I associate myself with them. Like, you're going to see these type of people no matter where you go. Why would you even build up that type of psyche in your mind that you hate these people and you're going to always be exposed to them? Like, get over it. It's there. It's going to be there. It's been there. Let it go. Mm -hmm. Let it go. And there's no homophobia. People just need to stop hiding behind these different fears of things and just admit it. You're gay. If you have a homophobic, well, they don't mean that they gay. I a mean, lot of them are gay. Do, they might want to do it. They don't mean they really no, gay. No, they most of them are gay or have gay have had gay thoughts. And every time they're around someone as of that, that sex, it's a possibility that they act on it or they say something or they feel some type of arousal around the person. Okay, now that is a different show at a different time. <laughs> on the show. Now, K Show One Hundred and Four. <laughs> I was watching one of your videos. <coughs> excuse me. When you and Mikel were talking about TV shows you missed growing up, what are R&B artists or groups do you miss from the 90s? That's and would you one. like to see any of them make a comeback? I would love to see Total come back. Boys the Men. Boys, Boys the Men, men yeah. Even them. though they still are, they got a new CD out. Well, yeah. I mean, like, they doing all covers of them. And stuff. All yeah. of them. Uh, who else? Um, who else? I know who I would like to see come back. Well, I don't think it. Mm. I'm you know who I miss? Who, who I wish could come back out? Aaliyah. I wish she could come right back out, even though she's dead. I know she recorded a lot of tracks where they did not release them, so they just might, might as well release them. You know. I wish Jane would come back. Who? Jane. Hey, I like Mr. The... DJ. You mm -hmm. can get me started. Everybody's ready to party. Uh, uh. All, all night, night, all night, all night. All, all the right. girls out. They, that they were good. <clears throat> I wish. I wish who I wish come back. I miss. I'm gonna be honest. I miss. Um. Um. What's. Uh. What was. Uh. Freaking. Marcus I don't know, Houston. Look at that time. Marcus Houston and. Um. Girl by. <laughs> um. <laughs> Immature. Immature. That's exactly. It needs to be forgotten. I love them. I, I don't. I was never anybody's fan, but I just love Marcus Houston and that group together. Mm. It was so. Constant. With his little perm and his little bob was all curved. Calm down. Let me stop messing up my fur. But yeah, they. I miss them. Read the next question. Okay, the next question is: Do you think Def Jam is going to? This is from B Love. To or could ruin Rihanna's career by overexposing her in a good girl going bad album so much, especially when people. Most people don't think she's talented. What do you think? Wow. Because um, I got my answer right now, and I, I, might, I hope I don't disappoint anybody's fans. I believe that um, if it's 
it's not true. Time is running. Okay. Ah. And no, okay. if, her, if her image ain't true to who she really is, I think her career has been over. I think it's over, period. If that's, if the bad girl Rihanna is what they push it and it's not really her, eventually it's going to get old. So, yes, I believe they are ruining her career if that's not her. Nah. That's what I feel. Okay. Now, this is my question to you guys. I mean, this is my statement to that. Now, Columbia Records, they are doing the same thing with Beyonce and did not ruin or hurt her career at all. First of all, we had B. She has no competition out but here. But so what? Right now. Oh, yeah. Well, actually, yes, Rihanna's she does. I take that back. Beyonce definitely does have competition Okay, because she hasn't even also Taylor Swift yet. Now, you probably say, who the fuck is Taylor Swift? Oop. <laughs> she's a country <laughs> singer. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> she's a country singer, but she is outselling. And a lot of people saying that she's outselling Beyonce because country singers don't have bootleg, don't get bootleg. No, I'm going to tell you why she might be outselling Beyonce. And this is my real opinion on this. So, take, so listen to Hurry this. up. Cause I my opinion on this is, is she hasn't had any experience to write about those experiences, which would cause herself to go up because more people will be able to relate to her and her music and her lyrics. So, when you don't experience life, you don't have anything to write about. Your songs don't sound like nothing. Not saying that she's not talented. Not saying that she's not a good writer. But, you have to live in order to know. Are you and if you don't know, Beyonce? you need to live. Thank you. You talking about Beyonce? Yes, I am. Oh, God! Yes, I am. And now, I mean it. Now, now, this is what I have to say. Now, because, you know, you had the B-Day album. Then, you know, Beyonce had the world tour. Then she had, no. Then she had the 15 fucking videos. Stop cursing, Kevin. She had 15 videos. And then she went on world tour. Okay. okay, she had the 15 video. Then she went on world tour. Then she released the world, the, the DVD of the tour. And then to cap it off, she had the nerve to release live audio of the tour. So if that's not overexposure, I don't know what you call it. And it didn't hurt her career. I don't so, think. If I you agree. can milk the cow, baby, milk agree. that Okay, cow. yes, it's about money and all that stuff. But be true to yourself, though. Like, that's my, okay. that's what I feel. Maybe, so, yeah, yeah. from EA Hole 7, who, what are your favorite, top five favorite movies? Color Purple. I'm going to get you seven. Um, um, Sister Act 2. Lean on me. Home Alone 2. Home Alone 1. Uh, blah, 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 blah. King, not King's a comedy, it's a movie. Coming to America. Yes, I agree with that one. And the little, 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 and Miss Congeniality. Mm -hmm. That's my guilty pleasure. Oh, I only got one more. Is it? <laughs> oh, Boys in the Hood. That's my movie. Oh, that was my movie too. Oh, I love and I love She's comedy. Like Ricky! Ricky! <laughs> oh, girl, my eardrums. I sound like you sound like me when I be screaming at my kids' ears, girl. Okay. This is from Beyonce True Beyonce True Fans Media. Shout out to y'all, Beyonce fans. Um, do you think Rihanna and Chris Brown are engaged? No. And do you think Sierra is jealous of Miss Beyonce? No. I think they're two different, total, totally two different artists. Okay. Rain Duchess. Hey, Scorpion. I just wanted to know: Have you heard Rihanna's new song with Justin Timbo? No. Have you heard this song with Justin Timbo? And what do you think about it? If you're talking about Bad Girl, I don't really like it. No, I like it, but she's talking about Swagger Jackers, and I don't like that because Rihanna has Swagger Jacked Fifi Dobson. And the only reason why Fifi Dobson is not really popular because she was like the black version of Avril Lavigne. So Dub Jam was like, okay, it's not going to work with Fifi, but we can work it out on Rihanna, and Rihanna Swagger Jacked her. And, but everybody in the industry right now, it's Swagger Jacking everybody. And the number one Swagger Jacker is Beyonce Knowles. Well, <laughs> that's, that's who the media says. That's who the media says is Beyonce. They say she's the number one Swagger Jacker. You know what I mean? She has to go and live to, to be. Like, all right, for instance, right? What I'm wearing right now. Nobody designed it. Nobody sat down and said, you know what, Kenya? I think that you should put on a tie with a t-shirt and, and another shirt and rock a fro. No. That's because I went through some things, then played with some things. Now I know this is me. That's what you got to do. You got to step outside a comfort zone in order to be uncomfortable, in order to grow further, my sister. Mm. Amen. You want, would you do a song with Beyonce? I would do a song with Beyonce as long as she, as long as she can be true believe like just sing the dance song don't 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 try to sell sex in it don't if we're singing about birds and stuff 
Ooh, sweet, 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 sweet. Like, don't be doing all that. Like, like just, let's just sing the song. Like, now, Kenya, see, see how the way you're talking about it. This is what I was saying a long time ago, but I'm... I got crucified, and you're going to get crucified. For I don't care. I'm going to tell you now. If you got, if you had anything to say about what I have to say, this is my opinion, just like you're entitled to yours. I feel, as a, a lover of music, I have the right to speak on music we have, because music is being taken advantage of, and I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. Uh-uh, you ain't going to sit and cry. Oh, my God, it's 25 minutes past the hour. <laughs> so, you know, ain't that how they be on the radio? Maybe like, it's 25 after the hour, mm -hmm. and you're like, what fucking time is that? 15 so, minutes closer to the clock. <laughs> All right, this is from Deshaun 18. I would like for you to address the lack of female groups back in the 90s. We had TLC, Envogue, SWV, SKJ, blah, blah, blah. But nowadays, all we see, oh, you said Beyonce's child. I'm going to fuck you up. But nowadays, all we have is Danny Decane and PCD, not a representation of great girl groups of the past. So I would like to know your views on this topic. And how do you feel about the no cover girl groups. Well, I don't know what happened to Cherish, but I like Cherish. They were good. Um, they had substance. That's what happened to them. And Pussycat yeah. Dolls is all revolved around Nicole, and the bitch can't sing. Listen to uh, uh, Melody. She can sing. She might have had looks like Melody, but um, like um, Nicole, but she could sing. First of all, those groups were hand-picked, put-together people. Not just out of ten, it's only because they want to sell a certain image to the people. The same which thing like also means, well, yeah, exactly, Danny King, exactly. They put these people together. These are not groups that grew up together, work together, you and they said we want to sing. Chemistry. Yes. It's like, like a TV show. You just can't put two people together and say, bam, that's the show. They use the music as a scientist, as a, a, a scientific um, experiment. And it's not a scientific experiment. It's something that is so felt. Like if you grew up together, me and me and you was just doing duets our whole life, and we blew up that way. That means that if we came through childhood doing this together, we would continue. Not saying that all groups stay together a long time, but they 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 prosper better when they when they have a, a history, some roots, something. Please. Tell me from talking because I don't even have it. <laughs> and next, Cinnamon's S. Would you marry me, Kevin? Girl, I ain't trying to get married. Next is Liverpool. Kevin only would have had kids. That's horrible. No, it's not. Liverpool it's for really life. Not, I don't have you heard Leona Lewis' new song? I will be no, but I love her voice. Oh my god. She does have a beautiful voice. Who is and older? And she's pretty too. A sign of the times. Who is older, you or your sister Kenya? Me. I'm older than Kenya by eleven months and like. Four or five days or something. Yo, our like that. pop was he was he was and you know it out. yesterday was his birthday. Yes, so. he was. We, we already went fifty three. Yes, 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 yes. Honestly, my question is about who all the time of this thing is a lot of people. Come on, here. speak up, baby girl. Okay. Um, honestly, my question is about raw sound of the singers and a lot of people out here give props to people who can't sing, such as Rihanna, Latoya. Oh, Sierra. you said Latoya oh, no, can't stop, sing? No, stop, stop, Latoya, Sierra, Keisha Cole, Ashanti, etc. I mean, I can name a long list of people who can't really sing, but I want you to think about all the artists who most people say can sing and put them in a list from the best to the exact worst. Now, the people I name, just because I said they can't sing doesn't mean their music isn't good. Well, that's another show at another time. Sure is. Sure is. Because I, I got to, yeah. Do you think, Chink, Chinky24, do you think Biggie's mom and Faith Evans made little Kim look bad and the light, and the bad light for the movie? Um, I, I don't know. I haven't seen the Hold movie. Hold excuse me. Has little Kim made herself look good in real life? And you know what I was thinking about saying that, but I was trying to be nice. No, I'm being honest. Like, when you live your life in a certain, you portray your life in a certain image, and it comes back in a movie the same way. Like, she wasn't a church girl when she came out. What was she talking about? Sucking it. Throw my lips to the shit. Nanu, nanu, Handle it. Da, da, da. I can sit on this right hand and make it disappear in my mouth. Like, she, <laughs> she. Like, come on. How you, you only can represent what's real. And if that's really what she was doing, then hey. Power to you. Sure. Scorpion. You know, um, Kim may excuse me. The Whose album are you looking forward to coming out this year? Who's coming out with the album? Um, Kenya. India Ivory. Kenya. Kenya we'll say, Simmons. See, you know what? Kenya keeps selling me these dreams and stuff. That's why I be hard on I'm Kenya. not selling no damn dreams. Let me tell you. Look, oh, Kenya, sorry. all summer, Kenya was supposed to come over here and sing on YouTube. She could have been had like like 2,000 subscribers by now. But I had to work, and yeah, I had to work. You got to work, and I got to work, too. But what I'm saying is, Kenya, you supposed to, when you come home from work, Supposed to come here, you knock out three songs. Excuse me, I home. do manual labor, and this ain't no excuse. Go I be home. squatting, 
and bending over and squatting. I ain't no stripper or nothing. Don't get no. that. Don't don't think about that. But I'll I be I'll be working and like I just was tired. But you know what? I'm starving right now. So even if I, I I've been coming from work, she gotta have enough I'm, hunger. I'm I'm, 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 I'm star ain't no hunger. It's starvation now because it's like every every six months, no every three months, music gets worse and worse. Every quarter it gets worse and worse. All right, now stop. Sir for TJ. Stop. Scorpion, what are stop. your thoughts on A. Marie? Don't work on him. Do you think that A. Marie can have a successful comeback even though she's not? Yes. Mm. But you know what? She shouldn't have signed with L.A. Reid, okay? L.A. Reid, if A. Marie say, no, I don't want to sing this, girl, look at Christina Aguilera, Aguilera Christina Milian, Paley LaBelle, Janet Jackson, look at Tony Braxton, look at TLC. I was about to say that. Come on. L.A. Reid is not somebody you want to be under, okay? Look at the new guy, Sterling Sims. Why is he being promoted right? It's not like he don't have good looks. It's not like he can't sing. So you tell me why he wasn't promoted right. Because he went against the grain. And you know, and L.A. Reid like, bitch, I got the power. And he pulled the plug on him. That's so, crazy. Because that boy, his songs, his songs are really good. Mm -hmm. So I mean, He is sexy. See, I ain't saying all that he stuff. Is. I'm just saying. I, I got a reputation on YouTube. So, Brooke Valentine, boy, Hawaiian Breeze. I didn't even know Chris, Brooke, Brooke Valentine had a CD out. Also, I wanted to know, she's kind of reminding me of Keisha Cole. <laughs> also, I wanted to know, what do you, what, excuse me. I also wanted to know, do you know what the other members of Destiny's Child was up to music-wise? Thanks, Gord. Well, I know LaToya has an album coming out in March or April, and what Latavia's doing, Scorpion has no clue. Hmm. He probably said, forget the music industry. But let me tell you something. Those girls, LaToya and Latavia, are getting those checks. They, they really better be getting work. royalty Let checks. me tell you something. Every time Beyonce go on tour and sing, say my name, say my name, and bills, bills, bills. Them get, they getting bills, 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 and checks, checks, checks <laughs> in their goddamn pocket. And every time you hear it on the radio, they getting paid. They got a nice little check for Matthew firing them. Now, hello, Kevin. Love the show. I wanted to bring up a theory that I'm tired of hearing. Most black women, uh-oh, that's another show. At uh, uh even Oprah said the majority of black women to every black man is <laughs> 10 to 1. But think about this. Women of the ethnic groups are able to find a black man. Kardashian with... sisters. So, the number of black men increased when it's, when it's for other groups. Black men are available for black women. Most black men aren't proud to be seen with a black woman. It's not the end thing. What do you think? Quick, I can do that real quick. First of all, I think that a lot of people have a problem with themselves. So, when you are talking about the race, that's a problem too. I don't understand why there are a lot of successful black men with other races. Just like I don't understand, like, there's a lot of successful black women there are with other races. But they don't get talked about. But, this is the thing. Once you destroy the family structure, everything else falls apart too. When mom and dad is no longer considered the icons or the, the most important figures of the family... People can pull you and, and push you any way they want to. How that relates to race and relationships means that if mom and dad aren't showing me that this is a beautiful thing, why would I care? So they go to the white woman where they know, where they see that's where family works. Yeah, like and it's not cool. But, I mean, we need... As see, a, I wasn't even thinking about all that. I was thinking that black women in general, most of them are too strong will for the black man. For me, I've like heard more, a white woman is more submissive, and I don't want none but of my white subscribers. I don't want my white subscribers to get mad at me, and then they say that white women do freakier stuff in bed sex than a is black. Sex. Woman. No, but you know what? Ain't no black girl gonna say, "Oh, I want to suck his penis." They're not gonna say that, Excuse but a me. white woman will do it like like that. First of all, this is the 21st century. I don't know not one sister that ain't giving a boyfriend some head. So I don't even know where that came from. Oh, well, oh, trust me. A lot. Tashi, don't a lot of girls got too much pride to say And they can that say they what they want to say, but when them lights go up, when don't them lights go up, it's a different story. Don't a lot girls got too much pride to say, oh yeah, I suck this thing. Yeah. Come on. I but I think a lot of girls I don't think more we're black in coming in conversation with it because this is what we do in our privacy, but a lot of females, like, to be honest, that's an excuse. People, if you if that's your boyfriend, y'all together, he's doing you right. 
you going you going to take care of them. But that's what happened in a good relationship. So don't be saying, oh, I only date white girls because they, they lick this and they suck this so good. Like that's I don't want them ass. to say that, but I'm just saying, though. And then, you know. If I'm too strong for you, you shouldn't look at my strength as being competition, and but then, a compliment to who you but are. But then you got black women that make, then you got um, black women that make black women look bad. Like, look at Sheree from um, Secret, Ho Secret Housewives of Atlanta. The, the whatever Housewives of Atlanta, you watch that and she make black women look bad. And then you know what? That one woman is not going to But I know, knowledge. but you know what? Oh, for some people it does. They're like, oh, look, because that's all they see on TV. Look that's at that black woman. Television look is how, not life. Look how, not look, look how, only look how New York lives. Oh, that's how all black women, that's how TV can brainwash people sometimes. You know that. And you know what? People are so lazy to find out how people are themselves that they, they, they stick them in all these different categories of stereotypes. Stop stereotyping. And you then might, we you may might, have a better chance of having a good have, relationship. And plus we don't have enough positive black roles and positive black people because as on always, TV. Because the only positive people we see on TV was Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and the Huxtables. And they were saying it's unbelievable. How you say successful black people are unbelievable? First, first of all, we have allowed people to exploit us to each other. So when we take accountability and responsibility for what we've done and, and put out there and say, oh, this is how we are, then it will change. Music will change. Children will change. Mothers will change. Relationships will change when we start taking responsibility for what we allow to be out there. If you got a daughter that's taking her behind in a camera, that's because, one, she's looking for something. Two, she's working for something. And three, she's missing something. And somebody needs to get together and figure out what the problem is because I'm tired of it. Now. And yeah, I went natural. And it took me for six months to get to where my hair is now. And you know what? I get more sins from people with perms and looking at me like I'm out of place. And I'm looking at them like you're so uncomfortable in your own skin. I can get a perm tomorrow, but that would not change how I feel. The thing is, I only brought this up because if you don't accept your natural beauty, if you don't accept you for who you are, if you don't accept you all the flaws and everything that comes with it, and you try to buy into this Hollywood industry, idol tree, you are missing the point, my sister, my brother, or whoever else is listening to this. My Sir, Latinos, my Asians, my white people, Asians, if you everybody. Know, exactly. If, you, if God made you with cheeky eyes, love them cheeky eyes. If God made you with nappy hair, when there ain't no nappy hair, it's a tight curl. That's what it is. It's a tight curl. A tight curl. And it's only meant that way because where we came from, we needed it. Okay, you know, don't, don't, be don't be screaming at the camera. camera. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Shit. That's what I'm saying. When I be when I get out in the, it's not gonna be an industry. When I my music get out there, I want people to listen to the substance because that's what makes you who you, you are. Holla. <sighs> this is a man down situation with her. <laughs> Shit. But I'm so serious. <laughs> Alright, the best stuff, yo. How hard was it for you to get so many views on videos and your channel? And how do you how did you do it? That one we're gonna talk about on a different no. How about, how about I tricked a lot of you guys into finding me. I put like um, a lot of you but Beyonce fans. We talk about Beyonce a lot. You got to talk about people who's on top. I want to start venturing to talk about white people so I can grab onto my white subscribers because I don't really have white subscribers. I would love to have He them. used power words. That's what he used. And, you know, I just use a lot of tags and stuff. Whatever you be looking for, you find us. You be like, I'm looking for this, but damn, who the fuck is them? So you find us. So, um, how did I get so many views? People just like me and Mikkel. They like to see us fight, word of mouth, making sure you um, ask people to subscribe. I'm not too proud to ask people to subscribe. If I read your comment and I see that it's a new name and I see that you're not a subscriber, I would say, hey, can you subscribe to the show? Or thanks for watching my video and thanks for leaving the comment. Anytime people leave, even people that leave negative comments, I ask them to subscribe, even if they're not a subscriber. Because if I have enough impact on you to make you leave a comment, I want to know what else can I make an impact on you and leave another comment on my video, and I might change you. So there are some people that say, Kevin, I didn't, I didn't even like your show, but now I love it. Look at that comment that's on the side of my page saying, oh, my God, I didn't like your show, but now I love it. So if I can convert anybody or we can convert anybody, that's good for the show. And I could go on a whole lot more about that. That sounds like a businessman to me. Mm -hmm. Wait, it's a new door? Boop, boop. The, huh? It's a new door? No, that's the same door. Oh. The JLJG. 
Will there be sex talk in your videos? Maybe soon. If I'm one of yes. I, I want to try to speed these up. So let's hurry up. Let's try to beat forty five. Let's try to get to forty five minutes. Will there be? I mean, so, so Miss Pisces. Then like every okay. Blah, blah, blah. Personally, I think interracial dating. Okay, well. Drew, basically, nah, what is going on with Sierra's face? I've seen the pictures. I don't know what's wrong with her face. What's going on with her face? Maybe it's just the way she got a haircut. It's not that serious. What it looks like? It looks cute to me. Her face? Her face looks like Sierra. She just got a haircut that makes her look different. You notice, like, on the Promise video where she lay on the floor and got the, the shortcut? Mm -hmm. She looks different? Oh, yeah, yeah. Kind of yeah, like that to me. Good, right, right. Oh, I got another question, Scorpion. What do you think of TV shows of today? To me, they ain't nothing compared to the sitcom like Martin Little Black. Even the cartoons ain't. No, everything is different now. I mean, everything is more computerized, and you know, black people just can't get on TV no more. Everything is everything is so far from real. Everything is reality is, show. Everything is reality show. Every, everything is. Scorpion needs a reality show. Scorpion needs a reality yes, show. You do. I agree. I. You know what? Not to just be saying it because you're my brother, but I really think that. Well, I'm just trying to cover that tattoo, but I mean, I really think that there should be more shows where people are speaking their opinion and they have real good questions, unlike on mm. 106 and Park. No pun yes. intended. That's what I. Think. Oh my God, Madonna, Madonna, did you, did you, did I you ask your daughter for my permission Ugh. to do this? I'm like Madonna. Madonna was like, what? What type of shit is that? Put the Scorpion and Macau on 106 and Park. Stop selling. I, stop selling sex. And putting people on TV that looks a certain way. And get people on there that's going to really use, make people use their brain. Put, put us on there. I'd be like, Ashanti, you know what? People say you can't sing. What do you think about that? Matter of fact, sing for us right now. Give her a mic. And why do you think people say that? I will, ooh. I will say, that's everybody. You know what I think about 106 Apart? They like everybody that comes on the show. And you're not supposed to be Joe with everybody. Joe, if you not know what we're talking about, Joe may all all up on somebody, all on their top, too excited, too happy, blah, blah, blah. Like, and forgetting the fact that they're a person yeah. just like you. Like Wendy Williams, she would bash you on her own damn show. And that's what, you know what? I like her. That type of stuff will make people hate you and love you even more. Mm -hmm. And it's not you about... you hate the lover, and you're like, I don't like that bitch. But you know what? Your ass sitting right there from 2 to 6, listening to her ass to find out what gossip she got going on the show. Yep. Just like some of y'all do because on the Scorpion Because she's going to get to the show. meat of the situation. And y'all be why. hating on me, but y'all motherfuckers sit right there and y'all watch to see what is the Scorpion going to say next. And you know what? I want y'all to keep on watching because I love what I do and I love my hair. It is just like as well as I love my supporters. So now. Well, he done ran out of breath for this. Yes! <laughs> Can I try to get my thoughts straight? You know what I say what comes to my mind, so, you know, I'm trying to get that out. <laughs> he ran out of breath. He was like, it is gonna thank you. Oh my God. So I'm trying to get these questions. All right, a lot of y'all. You know, have to do this at two shows. Yeah, they, no, they ain't asked. A lot of these people, questions came at the 6 30, and I got, I don't got time. Um. Uh, Kevin, I watched you on Black TV. Uh, what do you think about the rumor about Solange and Kelly Rowland beefing? If Solange and Kelly Rowland beefing, let them be family beef, okay? Sometimes I don't like her. Sometimes she don't like me. She might not tell me, but sometimes I do shit that get on her nerve. Like when I be sleeping on the couch, Kevin, wake up. No, can you come on, leave me alone. Or no, you're not getting on my computer. Oh yeah, you ain't never lie. Okay, so yeah, we do he, stuff. Sometimes he gets his mode and he just be like, whatever. I don't want to talk. Leave me alone. I'm tired. Leave me alone. <laughs> we all beef, so I mean, not like beef, like one to fight, but it's family. They family, let them handle it. And people act like once you get to a certain stardom, like you're not human anymore. We're all human. Human, H U M A. We're all human. No matter how much money you have, Dang it. we gotta get to the human. forty-five seconds. I just want to let people know. One laptop that I buy, I bought Toshiba Satellite L three O five D stash S five nine hundred. It's 15.4 diagonal widescreen, true bright display, AMD Athlon 64X2 dual core, Over, I don't think they went all, mobile man. processor TK57, 3 gigabytes of RAM, he just want to show that he can read, 250 <laughs> gigabytes of ID, HDD, and DVD super multi drive, I can burn CDs and DVDs, who am I to say, they be like CDs, DVDs, you ever go downtown somewhere, and they were trying to sell you CDs and DVDs, bootleg, yes, and then the um the Muslim boys they want to be selling you the oil. You sometimes I stop and I smell them, but I don't like them sometimes. I hate what this one dude just one day I was walking him on my way to wherever I was going. He just hey try this try this tell me what you think about it. 
I smell like roast spray for the rest of the day. <laughs> I was wrong. I would have went to work and put something right on my arm. I tried to wash that crap off. I don't know if I think that was some new. But, but them oils, they stay with you. And sometimes I say I don't want to smell like incense, you know. Because some, like people, some people have, like some oils have that. that uh, Strong. Yeah, and I don't like that. I like a nice little scent that lasts. I love amber white and I love um, curves and uh, one more. Uh, which one? My cologne. If anybody ever went to buy me cologne, you could buy me chrome. Chrome is good. I love... Um, oh, lick me all over. That's it. There I go. love Jean-Paul Gaultier cologne. I love... Oh, my God. I'm I love... Uh, I'm I sure love Clinique Happy. I love Polo cologne. If I smell Clinique it with somebody... Clinique smells good. Curve this is my Crush. Cousin. Curve Crush smells so good. Ooh. <laughs> I haven't bought cologne in a while, but... Ooh. Will you ever smell a smell and it just instantly brought back a memory? Mm-hmm. Happened all the time. Oh, I smell this man. He came through the airport smelling like Polo Sport. I was like... Oh, that stinks. No, it doesn't. You see a white oh, man? man? No. See, I think that Polo is for white men, not for black men. Black men need a strong masculine no, scent. No, that smells no, no, just ooh. fine. I want to just... Mm. So, we are sorry we couldn't get to the rest of the... Wait a minute, I have to answer this question. Right. I like that silence. I was reading it. I got, let's read the last two questions before we get out of here. Hey, Kevin, my name is Nikita. I'm sure you should notice the name. I watch the show daily. I hope you go very far in life. My question is, what do you think about 14-year-old freshman in high school getting pregnant? I'm a junior in high school, and... I just think it's a shame, which it is. I just want to know your opinion. Oh, and can you give me a shout out? Well, there you go. Hey, Nikki. Hi, Nikki. You got a shout out, Nikita. Um, I think it's really bad that these young children are out having sex and getting pregnant. And the worst thing is like catching the disease and stuff like that. These young girls should not be doing it. But look what's on TV. You got people shaking their ass. Men having girls shaking their butt and their face and stuff. And that make you want to find out what is a hoopla all about. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? That's true. So, um, I think it's really bad. But parents need to start educating their children. Mm -hmm. Like around five or six years old. Yes. Right? They need to start the doing earlier, it earlier the better. Because when they get older and they hear about it. Oh, I learned about that when I was in kindergarten. I didn't learn about that. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, you did definitely you need really it. need to start early. Yes. So these kids can know, like, oh, I don't want no baby. Put put stuff in school while they like seven and eight of these teenagers getting pregnant. Like, oh, I gotta do this. I gotta do that. And they need to talk mm -hmm. about. You know what? A lot of kids don't even have dreams anymore. Like, a dream is nothing but a goal that you want to accomplish someday. And they're so busy living on the now, and they don't even realize that they're gonna grow up and have a have to do things in order to have a certain type of future. They think everything's supposed to fall in place after they turn eighteen. So when they out here having sex, they only thinking about, oh, I'm just doing this right now. Like, and another thing nothing. you need is a strong mother. You need a mom to say, if some boy ever tell you to do this, and a father, do it. And, and a father. True, but my, see, I had my mom. I can't speak for the fathers. I had my mom. I had my mom, too, but you know, it would be you know, nice we, if you had well, well, you, See, you had him because he lived with y'all and all that. So I don't know y'all. He story. left when That's I was That's another kid. show at another time. But see, you had, y'all had that. I never had that. Always had my we mom We didn't saying, have it either. You don't want to do this? Don't do it. Don't do it. If they call you a bitch, you be the best bitch ever. Okay? I, I never. I don't you. agree with that. I ain't do drugs until. Can you please? I ain't had. Well, I ain't do drugs until I was like 18. When I say drugs, I'm talking about like smoking marijuana. Because I was so petrified. Like, oh my God, my mom going to say this. My mom going to say that. Okay, I tried it. Marijuana is not for me. It makes me paranoid. It makes me scared. It makes me think too much. And it makes me talk too much. I would rather have a bottle of alcohol Is he high now? Than, um, <laughs> than to smoke weed, okay? So marijuana, I think that I think that majority of the nation has tried it. Even the goody goodies that say they never had marijuana. When you keep something away from it. somebody, everybody else wants to find out what's about. Why are you why are you trying to keep this from me? Stop mm -hmm. hiding sex from your kids. Stop hiding drugs from your kids. Stop hiding alcohol from your kids and show them. Expose them to these things so that they can't find they don't have to find out the wrong way. That's what I'm not saying go smoke weed and have a sex party with your child while they drinking on some liquor. I ain't saying do that. What I'm saying is introduce you to these things. Like, all right, this is what weed is. This does this, da 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 da. This is what alcohol does. This is how it happens. This is how people get in a crisis and they and they can lose family or lose limbs. This is what sex does. T show them a picture of genital warts. 
Show them a picture of genital herpes. Show them, show, take them to centers and let them sit around with people from the March of Dimes and let them see what premature and kids with Down syndrome look like. Like, teach them these are the consequences of those type of um, actions. Show them that. Expose them. Don't hide it from them. Stop hiding. Get out the closet. Get out the How closet. How do you feel about closet. plastic surgery? Closet. I just don't know what, what people see after the doctor has pulled your face back. To me, plastic surgery makes you look old. By the way, this is from Vibe Girl 03. Like you on a custom mask. I also have noticed more black women are doing black don't crack unless you're on that stuff. Vivica Fox. Black don't crack unless you. You know what? I think that Little Kim and Foxy Brown had to be listening to them little queens. The they could be like, girl, you look like this girl if you get your face done like that. And you know they look bad, like really, really bad. And you know, to me, I think they that plastic the surgery. Way. Plastic surgery can be kind of addictive. You don't want to look like that crazy lady who got that horrible, horrible looking face. Um, what else? I mean, I don't think that you should do it. But some people need them. Like, we was watching the um, People's Choice Awards last night, me and my mom. And I was like, ooh, mom, look at her teeth. And she's like, no, fuck her teeth. Look at her nose. <laughs> so, I mean, some people need it. But you know what? If you are comfortable in your own skin... Don't you ever go out and do it. Like, I got a gap between my teeth, and I don't never want it close. I might want my teeth whitened. I might want my um, wisdom teeth pulled out and stuff. But, I mean, I'm content with everything else. So, black people normally don't get plastic surgery. I do want plastic surgery. Well, what? My butt. I want a butt See? implant. I only I want my butt to be. Now how you want to sit there and preach and all that? <laughs> then contradict I, yourself. Now I contradict myself. I, I like my butt. I love my body. I love my breasts. Everything that comes with the package. I just want to round it off a little bit. See, I got the width and I got the illusion of a big booty on the side. Mm. What the heck was that? Next door closer. Oh. Uh, I got the big booty on the side, like, it's a, it's, I call it a camouflage booty. Because on the side, I look big. And when I turn around, like, you can see the whole back, you be like, hmm. What happened? Hmm. But yeah, that's all I want to do is just round it off a little bit. Just round it off. That's all. Now, that is going to end our Q&A. That was a nice... No. You want to finish the, all the questions? Uh, no. You think we can hit them under an hour? Uh, we Maybe got nine soon. minutes. All right. How many see. more questions is it? Girl, we just going to do yes or no questions. Okay. Do you like your new laptop? Yes. What do you like least about your laptop? Nothing yet. Are you awaiting Christina Aguilera's new CD? Well, I need to hear a single first, Kareem. And the, the, the question before that was from Lizzie B. Fly. Okay, another question about Kelly and Solange. No more. Do you watch Real Chance of Love? No, I don't watch Real Chance of Love. What females? No, I don't watch it, unfortunately. Kelly's album is supposed to come out in April. What do you think she should do this time that she didn't do the last time? tour she should get herself out there more she should um build stage presence um get on youtube showing us how she's creating this new album um market herself more she needs to market herself more and get out there what your label won't do you need to get out there and start doing on your own and that's why i get these chicks and these guys have the money from the industry from whatever albums and stuff they put out why won't you put the footwork in getting your ish done you can hire your own promotion. You can hire your own publicity. You you already got the connections to get a step further. Why don't you use your money, your time, and push it? <laughs> if I had the money, if I had the connect, if I had the money to you know do the promotion, the publicity, I'm still gonna do it without the money. If I can do it, why can't you do it? And you right in, the, you right there where I I want to be. Why you can't do it yourself? That shows a lack of starvation. When you're hungry for something, you will find a way. Let me say it again. You will find, find a way. A way. <laughs> and that's how we're going to end the Scorpion show. Find a way. And you can check Kenya out, www.youtube.com slash Scorpion show. And oh, know, excuse me, www.com, YouTube. www.youtube.com slash Kenya Simmons. Oh, see, I'm, I'm, I'm not. He's so, see, so he's I'm promoting. to promote myself. He's, exactly. So, I mean. It's all right. I ain't no hate. other people. But, I mean, um, so, no, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know where Mikel ass is at. Uh, I doubt if he'd be here tomorrow because it's a Friday and I don't know. Let me know what y'all think if, if you watch this whole video. 
I'm thinking about doing videos every morning where I talk about the gossip from the the day before. I want to know if do y'all think I should start doing stuff like that. And I've also been thinking about um, making certain days for certain topics. So, with or without Mikel, they will be done. The show and, must go on. Yeah, the show must go on. And throughout this video, and at the end of this video, I waited all this time to let you guys know that Kenya will be the alternate co-host whenever she comes, or if Mikel is here, I will try to fit all three of us into the camera. <laughs> I think it will be very good. Oh, thanks. Yeah. I didn't even know that. Thank know, you. Because I just say what comes to my mind. So, uh, He's so you know. real. So real. And I'm about to eat the rest of my hoagie. Me too. <laughs> I hope that y'all really comment this video. I hope that you watch this whole video. And shout out to all the people that go to Gen... Oh my God. It's a high school in Ohio. I know the group name is the Emos. Is it Gabana or Gahana? Gahana, Ohio School, Lincoln. One of them. Shout out to them. And I want to end this show on a bad note. And it's really sad that I have to say this. Um, one of my subscribers passed away, and I don't want to talk about how they passed away, but I want to give him a shout out. He always used to come to the Blog TV chat room. His name was Lady Gaga Eleven. He's no longer with us, and I feel I feel so bad talking about this because he used to chat with us in the chat room. And all right, uh, mm, 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 mm. it's just sad. So. Yeah. Prayers and um, condolences. Yeah, pray family. for his family. His name was his real name was Jay Smith, from what I was told. And that's how I'm gonna end this show. I'll talk to y'all soon. Stay real.